Now we talk about the aliases and clones. Um, alias means that more than one variable can point to the same data. For example, uh, you assign this list to A, which is a list, and you also assign the list to B. So B and A are both pointing to the same list. When you change the first element of A to changed, then what will happen to B? So if you change to, to A, uh, the, the first element of A, you find when you bring out B, you find that B is also changed. Because B is an alias of A. They're the same. Okay, they point to the same data. So when the data changes, both lists change. Um, what what do you if if you have a list and you don't want to change the value when the original list changes? So what do you do? How do you create the A? Uh, one thing is that you can you can uh, one thing about this is it's called cloning. Okay, and slice and the slicing. So if you do this, B equals from A from zero to two, you will have 0, 1, not 2, okay? The, the loss, the loss the index will not, the value of the loss index will not be included in the, in the slicing, uh, in, the, in, the, in the new list. So you will find that the B points to the clone slice of A that is 5, 10, okay? If you make a change to the data that the A points to, you do not change the slide that B points to. So if you change 5, to change for A, you do not find that B changes to uh, to change to change ten is still five ten. Instead of making B equals A, you can write B equals A from the beginning to the end. Remember that whenever you if you if this is like empty blank to five uh, to let's say uh, two then you will you we know as from the beginning to the second to the second index okay if it starts from three to the end you know that it starts from the th from the fourth index to the end if it's starting from if it's written as blank to blank is from the beginning to the end. So therefore, B equals A from beginning to the end, it's a cloning of the entire list of A. Therefore, here, when you, when you change the first element of A to changed, B points to the copy of the old A. Okay? Because whenever you use the slicing, you're actually creating a new list. Or the, the list has identical value as a previous list, but it's a new list. And the new list is being assigned to B. So B will not change whenever you change A. So here is a summary of the, the, the slicing and uh, cloning. You have A equals this list, 5, 10, 50, 100. And B slices two elements of A, C is an entire clone of A, and D is alias of A. Whenever you change the first element of the value of, of A, you find that A is changed, but B and C are not changed, while D as an alias of A has been changed. Okay. You want to be very careful that the only difference in the above examples was the use of the slice operator in addition to the assignment operator. So here, if you only use the diamond operator, it's an alias. If you use a slice operator, it's a clone. Okay, it's a clone. It's a very small difference in syntax, but it has very big semantic meaning. Okay. Now, uh, so this is the this is the uh, the the video for aliases and uh, clones.